Good morning, good evening, good afternoon in whichever time you're watching this. Welcome to SSC, Sikkim Static and Current. You want place for everything about Sikkim. In this video, we are going to discuss current affairs of Sikkim for the first week of June 2023, discussing national and international news, in which we will be covering 60 important MCQs plus few bonus questions. So, there are a total of 60 plus MCQs, and the PDF of this session, you will get it in the description box. If you want all the PDFs of the entire sessions in SSC Sikkim, then you can send a message to 77970586 The PDFs would include Sikkim Current Affairs and National International Current Affairs, including previous year questions. So let's proceed. First of all, we have sports news. We have nine MCQs to discuss. First, which state will be hosting Kelo India Games 2023? Please don't get confused with Kelo India University Games, which is being hosted by Uttar Pradesh. This is Kelo India Games, okay? And this will be hosted by Tamil Nadu, okay? So Tamil Nadu will be hosting Kelo India Games 2023. And we have discussed in the previous week's video that Kelo India University Games will be hosted by Uttar Pradesh this year. Next, who won gold in men's 10 meter air rifle at ISS World Cup? junior held in Changwon, korea so issf world cup junior held in Changwon, korea in which uh, one of these people have won uh, gold in man's uh, 10 meter air rifle and the name of the shooter is dhanus srikant okay dhanus srikant has won men's 10 meter air rifle on third day of ongoing international issf world cup junior it was uh, held in uh, south korea so hope it is clear now let's proceed to the next question which indian backed two medals at the flanders cup athletics meet in maxim belgium it's amlan borgohi amlan borgohi is an indian sprinter and he has backed two gold medals in this event flanders cup uh, it is being held in maxim belgium indian shooter avinav saw and gautami bhanot have won gold medal at the issf world cup junior held in seoul germany India won three medals in Asian Under-20 Athletics Championship, held in which place? It is being held in Aecheon, South Korea. Who has won men's single at uh, Malaysian Masters? His first individual title since six years. It's SS Pranoy. Okay, SS Pranoy is badminton player and he has won men's single title in Malaysian Masters. It is his first individual title since six years. Hope it is clear. Who has won Monaco Grand Prix 2023 related to the F1 racing? Monaco Grand Prix has been won by Max Verstappen. Okay, Max Verstappen, who is from Netherlands, he has won Monaco Grand Prix 2023. Who has won NSC CAVA Women's Volleyball Challenge Cup title held in Kathmandu? It has been won by India. Okay, India has won NSC uh, CAVA Women's Volleyball Challenge Cup title. Uh, it was held in Kathmandu. Who won player of the series in 16th edition of IPL, which was won by CSK? We all know that 16th edition of IPL has been won by Chennai Super Kings, and the player of the series has been given to Subman Gill. So here we can see some important names in this IPL. Uh, purple cap has been given to Mohammad Sami for uh, getting most number of wickets, 28 wickets. Orange cap for getting most number of runs given to Subman Gill. Emerging player of the season given to Yasasvi Jaiswal. Catch of the season, Rashid Khan, most valuable player, Subban Gill, who is also the Owens cap holder, and fair play award given to the team, Delhi Capitals. And winner, as I said, it's CSK. Next, we have important dates. We have five MCQs to discuss. World Environment Day, I think this is uh, known by everyone. It's 5th of June, okay, World Environment Day. And the theme of World Environment Day was bleed, uh, beat plastic pollution, okay? Beat plastic pollution was the theme of World Environment Day day so hope it is clear this year also marks the 50th anniversary of world environment day the, in 1974 the first world environment day was celebrated in spoken washington and this year's uh, world environment day was hosted uh, jointly by netherlands and quarter day ivory okay so these two countries had jointly hosted world environment day 2023 next is what is the theme of world food safety day 2023 observed on june 7 it's Food standards save lives. Okay, June 7 is a year observed as World Food Safety Day, and this year's theme is Food Standards Save Lives. International Day of Innocent Children of Victim of Aggression is on which day? It is on 4th of June. Okay, 4th of June is the day dedicated to inter uh, innocent children victim of aggression. 
World Milk Day is every year of June from 1st of June. Okay, 1st of June is dedicated as World Milk Day. It's a global event celebrated all over the world to celebrate dairy industry. When is World Bicycle Day? It's on 3rd of June. Okay, 1st of June World Milk Day, 3rd of June World Bicycle Day. And uh, what is when is Global Parents Day? It's also on 1st of June. Okay, 1st of June World Milk Day and also Global Parents Day. Okay, 1st of June. So now we have four. MCQs to be discussed in awards and recognitions. First, which AIMS has become the first AIMS to receive NABH accreditation? NABH, the full form of NABH is National Accreditation Board for Hospital, and uh, AIMS Nagpur has become the first of all AIMS to receive this accreditation. Okay, so NABH accreditation has been received by AIMS Nagpur, All India Institute of Medical Sciences, Nagpur. Who was conferred with 57th Gyan Peet Award, the country's highest literary, literary honor? So, 57th Gyan Peet Award given to whom? It has been given to uh, Damodar Mozo. Okay, Damodar Mozo has been given this award. Uh, let me just edit this uh, answer. There's an error here. Uh, anyways, I'll correct it in the PDF. Uh, yeah, Damodar Mozo. I'll just correct it. Damodar. Mozo. Okay. So Damodar Mozo has been conferred with 57th Gyan Peet Award, country's highest literary honor. Uh, so hope it is uh, clear. The first Gyan Peet Award was presented in the year 1965. So remember this as well. And this uh, Gyan Peet Award is given in 22 scheduled languages. Okay. In, uh, one person is given this award every year and it can be any of the 22 scheduled languages and Damodar Mozo has got this award in a Konkani language this year okay Konkani language so hope it is clear which movie won Palm Day Award which is the highest prize awarded in the Cannes Film Festival so recently Cannes Film Festival was held in which Palm Day Award which is the highest prize awarded in this festival has been given to which movie it's given to Anatomy of a Fall. It's uh, directed by Justin Treat. Okay, this Justin Treat is the director of this movie, Anatomy of the Fall, and this movie has been given to Palm Deo. So both director and movie are important. So hope it is clear. Okay, Justin Treat is the French director, and she is the third woman to win this top prize at the festival. Uh, in 1993, Jane Campion for the movie Piano had won this award. And in 2021, Julia DeCorno for the movie Titan or Titan had won this award. And now for the movie Anatomy of the Fall, Justin Tratt has won the Pandeo Award. Hope it is clear. So there are a few more awards in this Cannes Film Festival. Uh, this year, two honorary Pandeo Award were given to Michael Douglas and Harrison Ford. So remember this. And uh, who was the jury president? It was Ruben uh, Ostlund. Okay, Ruben Ostlund was the jury president. And a Grand Prix Award in the Cannes Film Festival was given to the Zone of Interest movie uh, the, directed by Jonathan Glazer. And Best Actor Award was given to Koji Yakuso uh, for the movie Perfect Days directed by Wim Wenders. Okay, Koji Yakuso, Best Actor. And uh, Merve Dizdar, she, uh, she is a Turkish actress, given the Best Actress for uh, the movie about fry grasses okay directed by Nuri Bill Kilian or Celian. Uh Merve Dizdar okay Turkish actress best actress and Kozi Yakuso who is from Japan best actor and other winner are the best director award has been given to uh, Tran Ang Hung for the movie The Pota of Fio and uh, the Golden Eye Award for best documentary also known as Loyal Dior has been given uh, won jointly by uh, four daughters documentary and the mother of all lies four daughters is has been created by Cawthor Ben and the mother of all lies has been created by Asmanel Mothe. So all these awards are important. You can just note down or you'll also get it in the PDF. Okay, next. So this is about Cannes Film Festival. This is uh, it was 76th edition of Cannes Film Festival. Okay, 16 to 17th May was the date in which this uh, festival was held and uh, as I was saying Ruben Ostlund who served as the jury president he is in a Swedish filmmaker from Sweden and anatomy of the hall given anatomy of a fall given palm day old the director being Justin Triet and uh, more details you can just 
uh, pause the screen and see we'll just proceed to the next question okay you'll get all this in the pdf next question who won the best actor award in leading role male in ifa awards 2023 so recently ifa awards were conducted indian international film academy awards okay it's conducted in india and for this year for the year 2023 the best actor award in leading role male has been given to rithik roshan for his role in veda in the movie vikram veda where he played uh, the character of veda opposite to uh, uh, saif ali khan okay who played vikram okay so veda has been played by rithik roshan and for this he has got uh, best actor award in leading role male rithik roshan and best actress award has been given to alia bhat for her role in the film gangubai kathiawadi so let's discuss all these awards so best actor as i said rithik roshan for vikram veda best actor female or best actress it's uh, gangubai kathiawadi and uh, best film of the year has been given to pramastra part 1 okay shiva and best picture has been given to drishyam 2 and best director given to r madhavan for his film rocketry the nambi effect and outstanding achievement in indian cinema this honor has been given to kamal hassan okay so this was all about ifa 2023 this all you will get it in the pdf next now we have places in news to be discussed 16 mcqs first which country will be hosting world's largest conservation conference in 2025 it will be hosted by uae united arab emirates okay uae has won the bid to host the 2025 world conservation congress or wcc of international union for conservation of nature that is iucn okay so iucn's world conservation congress that is the world's largest conservation conference it will be held in 2025 in the country uae okay let's discuss about iucn iu CN is an international organization working in the field of nature conservation and sustainable use of natural resources and its headquarter is in England Switzerland IUCN was founded in 5th October 1948 and the president of IUCN currently is Razan Az Mubarak okay so remember this IUCN next union minister Sarbananda Sonwal has flagged off the maiden international cruise vessel from Chennai to which country correct answer is sri lanka narodam sihamoni was on the maiden visit to india from 29th to 31st of may he is the king of its country he is the king of cambodia cambodia whose capital is phnom uh, penh and currency is cambodian real khr its king narodam sihamoni uh, recently visited india okay so cambodia is the correct answer it was uh, in 1963 that the cambodian king last visited india and now after more than 50 years uh, another cambodian king has visited india so hope it is clear next scientists from <coughs> which country has discovered an alien planet which is 13 times bigger than the size of jupiter it's india an international team of scientists led by professor abhijit chakraborty of physical research laboratory in ahmedabad has discovered this alien planet more details on the screen who hosted the annual summit of SCO or Shanghai Cooperative Organization in the virtual format on 4th of July it was hosted by India okay the mem SCO member states are China Russia Kazakhstan Kyrgyzstan Pakistan Tajikistan Uzbekistan and India okay there are total of eight members and uh, this is it uh, now uh, in this uh, SCO conference Iran Belarus and Mongolia has also been uh, invited as observer states and what was the theme of this summit it was uh, towards a secure ceo and secure stands for it's an acronym standing for security economy and trade connectivity unity respect for sovereignty and territorial integrity and environment okay so this is it for, towards a secure sco iit madras has set up its first international campus in which country it's tanzania okay iit madras has set up its first international campus in tanzania which country approved second hydropower project to be developed by india it's nepal recently uh, purana kila excavations in which place has revealed pre mauryan era settlement it's delhi northeast first vande bharat express will connect which place to jalpaiguri it will be connecting guwahati to jalpaiguri reducing the time travel to only 5 hours and 30 minutes India European Union Connectivity Conference was organized at which place 
it was organized in Meghalaya. Which state has launched a fiber optic network project at Sankar Narayanan Gandhi Hall of the State Legislative Assembly? It's Kerala. Maharashtra government announced that the Ahmeda, Ahmednagar district in the state will be renamed as Vispace. It will be renamed as Ahilya Nagar. Okay. Before this also, Aurangabad and Osmanabad had been renamed to uh, Aurangabad was renamed to Chhatrapati Sambhaji Nagar and Osmanabad was renamed to Dharasi. But now new naming has been done. That is Ahmed Nagar has been renamed to Ahilya Nagar. Kashmiri Pandit celebrated annual Kheer Bhawani Mela at which place in Jammu and Kashmir? It's in Ganderbal. Okay, Ganderbal in Jammu and Kashmir. Kheer Bhawani Mela was recently celebrated by Kashmiri Pandit. Uh, again, related to Jammu and Kashmir only, Union Minister Jitendra Singh inaugurated two-day Lavender Festival in which place in Jammu and Kashmir? It was in Baderwa Valley. Okay, Lavender, uh, this uh, cultivation has also been recognized as Purple Revolution by CSIR IIM. Okay, so Purple Revolution Lavender Festival uh, recently was observed in Baderwa Valley of Jammu and Kashmir. India's first carbon neutral village has been developed in Bhivandi Taluka of Thane district in which state? It's in Maharashtra. India's first carbon neutral village has been developed in Maharashtra. Banas Diary has inaugurated state's first honey testing laboratory in which state? It's in Gujarat. Okay, so recently Banas Diary has inaugurated uh, Gujarat's first honey testing laboratory. Now we have seven persons to be discussed. Uh, who has been appointed as Smile Ambassador for Maharashtra Government's Oral Hygiene Campaign, which is titled Swachh Mukta Abhiyan. Correct answer is Sachin Tendulkar. Okay, it's Tendulkar's written there, but it's only Tendulkar. Okay, only one Tendulkar. So Sachin Tendulkar has been appointed as the Smile Ambassador. Who took charge as the new MD CEO of TCS? It's K. Kirti Vasan. Okay, K. Kirti Vasan is the new MD and CEO of TCS, that is Tata Consultancy Services. Who was re-elected as the president of Turkey for the third consecutive time? It's Recep Tayyip. Okay, Recep Tayyip has been re-elected as the president of Turkey. Who has taken charge as new CMD of Steel Authority of India Limited, abbreviated as SAIL? Correct answer to this question is Amarendu Prakas. Amarendu Prakas has taken the charge of new CMD of SAIL, Steel Authority of India. Steel Authority of India, it was founded in 24th Jan 1973, headquarters at New Delhi. Okay, SAIL. Who is the author of a political biography, NTR? It has been written by K. Ramachandra Murthy. It's a book, okay? And it, the publisher is HarperCollins India. So, a political biography, NTR, written by K. Ramachandra Murthy. Who released a book titled, Amrit Kal Ki Or, in New Delhi, based on nine years of achievement of Narendra Modi government. So, who has released this book? It has been released by BJP National President, J.P. Nadda. Okay, BJP President, Jagat Prakash Nadda, has released this book. Amrit Kalki or in New Delhi based on the nine years achievement of Modi government. A minor scholar, linguist, academician and writer has passed away recently. Uh, who was it? It was V. Arjunan. Now we have eight common schemes to discuss. When was PM Swanidhi scheme launched in India? It was launched in 1st of June 2020. Okay, so recently we celebrated three years of this PM Swanidhi scheme. So, PM Swanidhi scheme that is Pradhan Mantri Street Vendor Atma Nirbhar Nidhi Yojana. Okay. So, it was launched on 1st of June 2020, aiming to restore the uh, employment of the street vendors. Okay. In order to empower women in tourism sector, which state approved the implementation of gender inclusive tourism policy? The correct answer to this question is Maharashtra. Okay. And the name of this policy is I. Okay. I under the Azadika Amrit Mahotsav. Which state has launched an initiative to educate the youth about AI? It's Odisha. Okay. Odisha for artificial intelligence and artificial intelligence for youth. So, this initiative has been taken by Odisha government to educate the youth about artificial intelligence. Okay. Odisha. Which state government has approved a new financial scheme? Namo Setkari Mahasamman Yojana. It's Maharashtra. Okay. Namo Setkari Mahasamman Yojana. Which state announced Moghara housing scheme? So, housing scheme by the name Moghara has been announced by which state? It has been announced by Odisha. Atal Bhujal Yojana, which has been extended to 2027, was launched in which year? It was launched in 2020. Haryana Chief Minister Manohar Lal Khattar has launched a community policy outreach program. And what is the name of it? Its name is Haryana Uday. 
with state has announced that at least one de-addiction center will be set up in each district of the state the correct answer to this question is telangana okay so in all 33 districts of telangana at least one de-addiction center would be set up as per the announcement made by telangana government now we have three news related to finance first is rbi so rbi governor saktikanta das has launched a financial inclusion dashboard what is the name of the dashboard the name of the dashboard is antar drishti okay antar drishti is the new financial dashboard launched by rbi rbi as we know it's saktikanta das is the governor of reserve bank of india rbi was founded in first of april 1935 okay so the headquarter of rbi is in mumbai maharashtra next question project kubir has been recently launched by which bank it has been launched by sbi of bengaluru karnataka sector okay talking about sbi it was founded in uh, 1st of july 1955 and its headquarter is in mumbai so project kubir has been recently launched by sbi uh, state bank of india bengaluru karnataka sector Nitin Gadkari inaugurated and laid foundation stone of four projects worth 1450 crores in which state it's in Assam. Now we have three uh, ranking and index. First is which institute has been declared as the best educational institute in overall category. So in overall category IIT Madras has been uh, declared as best educational institute in the NIRF. What is NIRF? It's National Institutional Ranking Framework. So NIRF ring, uh, ranking in this iit madras has been declared top institute in the overall category and in the same nirf ranking which institute has been ranked the best medical institute it's aims new delhi okay, aims new delhi has been ranked the best uh, medical institute and pgimer that is postgraduate institute of medical education and research it has been ranked second okay so hope it is clear Next, again, uh, NIRF ranking only, which institute has been ranked the best agricultural institute? It's IARI, that is Indian Agriculture Research Institute, popularly known as PUSA Institute and the Harbinger of Green Revolution. Okay, so this IARI has been ranked as the best agriculture institute in NIRF ranking 2023. More details on this way. Now we have five miscellaneous news. India carried out successful training launch of Agni-1 ballistic missile from which state? It's from Odisha in APG Abdul Kalam Island. SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket successfully launched 22 second generation Starlink satellite, and they are also known as they are known as V2 Mini. Okay, the name given to the satellites is V2 Mini. Talking about SpaceX, it's the company of Elon Musk, founded in 2002. Headquarter is at California, US. Which pendulum has been installed in the entrance hall of New Parliament Building? It's four called pendulum okay four called pendulum they're different kind of pendulum and a focal pendulum is that pendulum which rotates on its axis suspended from the ceiling okay and this has been installed in the entrance hall of new parliament building government has approved how much money for the world's largest green storage scheme for in the cooperative sector it's one lakh crore and the last question is obituary which country is princess mele su ka tapu kalani valu Otofili has been has passed away okay so the princess of which country has passed away the correct answer is tonga okay princess of tonga has passed away capital of tonga is nukwa lofa continent is oceania and currency is tonga panga and the princess of tonga has recently passed away so these are all 60 mcqs now we have bonus questions these are the 10 bonus questions all these questions you will get it in the pdf so with this we complete the session. Thank you so much.